The Bindu is a lesser-known chakra of the Vedic energy system. Located at the back of the head, where the hair spirals and the occipital and parietal plates of the skull conjoin, the Bindu chakra is a key energy center in the release of the sacred regenerative fluid, the Amrita, Ambrosia, or Nectar of the Gods. Its position between the Sahasrara and Ajna chakras indicates its importance and its relation to the famous Bindi point, the red spot that decorates the foreheads of many Vedic practitioners, only supports this importance. The term Bindu, much like the Bindi, means spot or point. However, the Bindu chakra is deeply connected to the flow of the magical Amrita, and its true translation relates to the falling of the drop or Bindu Visarga, the revitalizing and transformative Amrita. Both the Bindu and Bindi are said to be the point around which our personal mandala is created, the mandala of our lives, and the creation of the universe as we see it. Brahmins and yogis and many other adepts and masters from other traditions wear their hair on the Bindu point to enhance their connection and fortify the protection of their personal energy, the creative energy. This is one of the reasons the Buddha is often depicted wearing his famous top knot. It is the symbolic meaning of many of the crowns of Europe and indigenous cultures of the world, and why most saints and holy men are shown with halos in the artworks and frescoes of religious art. The Bindu Chakra is associated with Shiva, the destroyer and creator of Vedic teachings, but also with the moon and its phases. The crescent of the new moon is its symbol, and in the anatomical allegory, it relates to the semen of the male reproductive glands. Shiva wears the crescent moon in his hair, representing this connection. The connection to the sacred flow of Amrita and the enhanced energy and capabilities that this connection may bring. When the Bindu Chakra is activated, the vital fluid, Amrita, flows into the throat chakra, the Vishuddha chakra, and down into the belly and hips, where it is said to mix within the root chakra, Mulhadhara, stimulating the rising of the Kundalini energy along the Sashumna channel at the center of the spinal column. This revitalization of the nervous system can awaken the glands at the center of the head, leading to the activation of the Ajna, or third eye, and Sahasrara, or crown chakras. This process is believed to bestow the practitioner with the famous Vedic CD superpowers, enhancing intuition, spiritual insight, and a deeper connection to the divine. These magical powers are said to make the practitioner more sensitive, enabling subtle psychic abilities like telepathy, precognition, astral projection, and more. This teaching is, of course, metaphorical and symbolic, as with all good mystery traditions, but it holds deep and accurate anatomical, physiological, mental, and spiritual truths. The Amrita Ambrosia or nectar of the gods is the activated, electrified, ionized, and vivified secretions and cerebral spinal fluid of the body. Its stimulation and release from the head center and other glands of the human system initiate the awakening of the inner eye, bringing increased health, improved well-being, and enhanced cognitive abilities. This is the Great Awakening.